So hey guys, I woke up at 7.28 in the morning, looked on YouTube, and they gave me this, Blue Archive Preview 4, and there was a new preview, alright, we're not talking about the bunny preview, even though I love that one, we're talking about this preview, we're going to go do go through a deep dive and have some theories all right so there's the first theory look at that shiroko is fighting a freaking mech i'm trying not to curse i don't know why I'm trying to be a little more family friendly and there are the four antagonists the only one I really remember is Black Suit. Shiroko. When not Shiroko comes. This makes sense. Because. Look, different gun. Longer hair. Dead eyes. And different uniform. This is obviously an adult Shiroko. You better kill Black Suit. And as we saw from that. Kibotos is in danger. A lot of danger. Yep, and we don't know what that is either. 11.47 is when it happens. Oh god, now that number is going to give me PTSD. example i honestly don't know who this is that's miyu that's sayori and this is hoshino by looking at it hoshino looks like she is going to be a sacrifice also i would be a little more emotional but this is my second take because my mic wasn't working i'm still emotional though <laughs> and i don't know how they can be so happy fighting a boss with total so that is happening right now on global release and I'm also pissed off about this because this is Problem Solver 68, right? Where the fuck is Kayoko? She's not here. Where is she? Hoshino enjoying herself like always. And looks like we have Hina, the game squad. I forgot their name. Um, and then the rabbit of cat. I don't know how to pronounce. Uh, looks like they're all one. Trinity and Millennium fighting robots. This is honestly the coolest matchup I've actually ever seen in Blue Archive. Other than like uh, the the Eris, the Erisu and Miu fight. Deadly fight. And this is another total saw boss. I remember this heavy type. Uh. We have Yuka, the other seminar girl. I think was it seminar? I don't remember. It's Millennium, I know that, but why am I thinking of seminar? And then there's this one <laughs> that I don't know. Oh uh, looks like the fight. Eat or die does some very terrorist stuff again against Pedro Rosilla. You can tell that is because of the the spines on the back. They're doing a f giant mecha battle. Looks like something that uh, scales, what is it? I don't know what they're called, but they're working on something. And this, we we'll need translation, please. And also, let me show you. あの時の私には分かりませんでしたが、今なら理解できます。大人としての責任と義務、そしてその延長線上にあったあなたの選択。それが意味する心配も。So if you couldn't tell, 
by that uniform she is obviously the one from the prologue from the beginning of the story before you even start the story in the game when you just started when you didn't even have a level Oof. yeah i'm feeling it kicking back in <laughs> um yeah this she's definitely from the prologue and by the later we'll get a good a better look at it and this is abidos honestly this is fucking sad all right as you can tell this is shiroko serika hoshino because there's a little bit of pink right here and nanami there's a darker blue right here that's fine this could and then look at the look at the shirt okay this could either be Sirika or Shiroko. Realistically speaking, it's probably Shiroko though, because of how much plot relevant she is. And something's wrong with Edisu. Looks like she got corrupted in that one place they were fighting at. Well, Hina's about to die but honestly i don't even think hina's gonna die because well this is blue archive we're talking about they don't kill their cunnies like that <laughs> something happens to eden treaty the eden treaty group i forgot what the name uh treaty and looks like something bad will happen to sayori maybe this is sayori Azusa looks like she is going to an existential crisis right now. It could be, um, I think it is Sayori. Hina is on the verge of death, but this is Blue Archive we're talking about. They're not going to kill their most cunny character in the game. That's Akko. And Mika is going to go rogue. I can tell from this. Saki, Saki has bl black hair? No, 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 no. Her hair is dark blue. And Miyu is going crazy too. I think something's gonna happen to Miyako. I think that was her name. And Sayori looks like she's gonna die as well. Not the Dami Mami. <laughs> Not the Otto. Half an hour, can you? Fuck, I can't be- I keep joking around, I'm gonna cry. <laughs> Alright, here's a better look. So that one character we saw, uh, that was bleeding, uh, while sitting down. If- I don't know if my quality is good enough, but look at the hair, and look at the eyes. I know every anime character has, like, the same eyes, but, like, the hair- It's, like, one's covering her face, and it has, like, those streaks of- you can see, like- under her hair and it's blue and you can only see one eye what does this remind you of if you can tell it reminds you of arona so arona has to do something with this right there that is that obviously has to do something with Arona, or maybe I'm just tripping. The hair is super similar, it's just Arona's hair is trimmed off. You gotta like how they can just keep humor like this, like during the most depressing times of the game. That's what I love about Blue Archive. And Shiroko's going in herself. Fighting that. And look who she's fighting. Herself. This has to do with probably a lot with time traveling, especially they're making Shiroko the face of the game. Shiroko is basically the protagonist. And you know what that means. Shiroko is going to have a big relevance in the plot for this story.
so that was the end of the preview. Yep, I know. Emotional roller coaster. But here's what I gotta say. Here are my theories. I said everything I know in this video that is honestly I think is gonna happen. Especially Shiroko and Hoshino. Hoshino might make it out, but might die. Shiroko will definitely make it out. Okay. Hina's definitely gonna make it out. Everyone's gonna make it out, probably except for Hoshino, because she is like the mother of everyone. She's like talking about how how old she is compared to all the people like Shiroko and stuff. But let me think this out. Okay. I think this is gonna be the end of the Blue Archive story. Like in the game. And then we'll have just like event event stories. Cause if we end the story this fast, it's honestly in my opinion not gonna be a good send off because I don't know how long Azure Lane is, but like I think Azure Lane is longer than this. And they're both made by Yostar. And that's all I really gotta say about the preview. But before we end this video, let's head to the um let's head to here. Uh if I can find it. Making a cutting figure? I did not know this. Hi, my cool. Uh, <laughs> okay, back to. Uh, I, that, but, um, I feel like I saw something that I remember because I was watching it for um, after I fucked up my first take on the video. It's somewhere up here, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, see? Final chapter preview. Uh, what was I looking for? Uh, let me take a look at my history then. Okay. Alright, right here. Let's take a look at this together, alright?先生、2周年のブラカライブはどうですか?色々な情報が目白押しで今からワクワクが止まりませんね。あ、もう一つ先生にお知らせが届いているみたいですよ。どれどれ。先生、なんとテレビアニメの制作が決定だそうです。これから
I'll see you guys later. I'm gonna go cry again.